think this is how often opportunities work. You don't know what's going to happen and you can't always create them, but you just need to say yes to things and then opportunities present themselves. And so I think because I was open-minded and brave enough to try some things, um, maybe some jobs that weren't exactly the job I wanted to have right after I graduated, that then that opened up these other opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise and that landed me here at Argonne. I actually am a botanist by training, uh, so I was working with uh, plants. I've always been interested in sustainability and the environment, and uh, I was working at the Botanic Garden first, and then saw the opportunity to come here to, to Argon. And so I um, initially get contact from a researcher who has an experiment where they would like to uh, study bacteria uh, in a community and I will often advise them on how to collect the samples, how best to extract the DNA from those samples, and then how best to sequence those samples. And so from the beginning to the end, I want to try to get them the best data possible. The thing that's really great about the work that we're doing is that we take advantage of the computing that's here at Argonne, we take advantage of the microbial expertise, uh, and then we fit in with sequencing. But I also work with a broad uh, community of scientists. So I work a lot with a lot of people at Argonne, but I also work with international researchers, uh, researchers at other domestic universities, and so that's pretty exciting. Argonne is the most collaborative setting I've been in, and people are really willing to work across boundaries and learn about different techniques that they're not familiar with, different fields they're not familiar with. And so what's been really great is that it's so easy to share information across the site with different researchers, um, and there's really a willingness to collaborate here.